Fares te segue. Clipa! to the south changing to Doncaster 126 to small 225. Got the Bravo, Roger, have a nice flight, speak to you later. Thank you, see you later. Alright, so everybody meet Phil. This is our um, <laughs> our well, your Rachel's done basically. Um, but aside from being Rachel's done, you sort of look after all of our money and stuff on the YouTube channel, don't you? We're making sure that I'm not spending too much money on shiny new Bose headsets and things. Um, I'll try my best. <laughs> so Phil's coming for a ride today, we're going to try and butter him up a little bit and um, keep him smiling and we're going to take up a little flight around um, the Mansfield area really, aren't we? And then Indeed. we'll see what this weather's doing and we might even get a bit further afield, so... Well, there's Centre Park's just down there, you see it? Yeah, with the big, see, see the big dome. dome. The dome, yeah. yeah. If you look in the sort of 11 o'clock, you see Kingsmill Hospital, those three towers with the lake in front of it. Sort of in the 11 o'clock, just yeah, got that's it. King's Mill, that's Amazon by the way, that big massive warehouse thing. That one down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Amazon, yeah. that's King's Mill Hospital. And then we've got Mansfield sort of in front of the Mansfield Town Stadium is sort of on the nose. So I'm going to sort of hang a left here, just so you get a view of Mansfield Town Stadium out the window. We'll sort of fly up this side of Mansfield so you get a good view. I suppose the, the more you fly, the more you pick the You just recognise, it's weird, you know when I was doing my instrument, I can't see a thing out of here, but every now and then I get a glimpse down there, and that little bit of land, I go, oh yeah, that's such and such. Oh, there's West Knox College, like right on the wing, you see it just, <laughs> just yeah. like that. Um, so you got the stacks ground down here, I don't know if you can see it. The football pitch, a bit brown, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. Grass We've got Kings Mill down here on the left. I don't know if you want to see. Uh, can you see that down there? Yep. That's Kings Mill. It's once you start flying around this local area, you know where everywhere is. Yeah. It's really easy. Um, so. I suppose it's not much different to driving your car to get to. Well, this is it. You just you, you recognise where everywhere is. Yeah. yeah. What's this weather doing? And what time have we got? Let's have a look. Uh, what's it? One o'clock. We're looking at three minutes to one. I've got the plane for about another hour and a half. If you want it. If we want it. So where do you really need to go towards Nottingham or we can sort of head up towards... I don't know what the weather's... Uh, I don't know. So we... Plan it out to the Peak District if you like. Head up to Chesterfield and... Um, see how far we get before we sort of have to turn around. It's Hardwick Hall look on the one o'clock. See that? Do what? Hardwick Hall. Yeah, That's straight in front. Yeah, straight in front of it. That's Hardwick. We get some aerial shots down of We can head out towards the map that way if you like. Now we're going to change the fuel tank so fuel pump comes on. We'll flick it onto the left. Just because every half an hour we change tanks just so it keeps unbalanced. Otherwise you use all on one and you end up sort of <laughs> You end up sort of walking around. There's the M1. Well, it throws you out to balance as well. It I does, it. yeah, it does. Might drive in with one tyre that's low. That's exactly it. Right. So we'll head up towards Lady Bower. We'll try and fly down Lady Bower, but there's a bit of a rain shower over there. Be it at the one o'clock. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Um, we're not careful. Yeah, the get... coming down as well. Yeah, it is. So we'll see. We'll get up to Chesterfield, which is sort of on the nose. Those yellow bits, then, at two o'clock. Oh yeah, yeah on the are motorway. The, are they the emergency? I think so. Engine? Yeah, that's when you sort of have lorries breaking down and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, you can 
Shizarine over there, can't we? Yes, let's have a look, we'll see where we can go. In the worst case, we just turn around and then head back, but we'll... That's absolutely fine, though. Well, we'll give it to go, so we're going to fly over Sheffield. Uh, we need to be sort of heading left a little bit for Lady Bower. It may look all gloomy and miserable, but when you look over there, then you see the uh, reap seed. Yeah. All the great yellow patches. Yeah. Right, it looks all right, doesn't it? It does. So the ground at Lady Bower is about 1,300 feet. And we need to be at least 500 above, but that will take us really low over it. Right. So if I am to be at 2,300, which is sort of where we are... Then we're all... I don't know, we should be okay. We should be okay. I don't want to push it out, you know? Seems to be reasonably clear there. It seems that we're going by it, don't it? Yeah. Or through it. Past through it, the, through yeah. the middle of it. Through the middle like of it. like a tunnel. Yeah. Well, I can actually fly on instruments because I've done my training, but legally, until my licence comes back, I'm not allowed to. Right. And that's why we need to get all that paperwork sent off to the CAA. So, um, once that comes back, I'm legally allowed to fly in the cloud. Yeah. At the minute, I know how to fly in the cloud, but I'm not allowed to fly in the cloud. Because your paperwork because says you can't. Because the paperwork says I can't, no, exactly. Now, in America, when you get your... Um, by any rating or a license or something, you get a, you, like. we get a temporary card that lets you do it until until you know the until one, you're yeah. one turns up. But here, but no. here, you don't get any of that. So, no. this should be about ninety. Yeah, it's ninety knots at the ninety-two on there. I was looking at the other one. Oh, you're looking at the old-fashioned <laughs> one, yeah. Well, I am old-fashioned. <laughs> See, this has got these. These are Garmin G5s, uh, which are brilliant. Like, it just gives you a really nice snapshot, but the trouble is, they're so bloody accurate. Like, I'd be happy with that, I'm sitting at 2,000 feet. Yeah. But looking at that, I'm at 1980, 1960, so I'm sort of chasing 2,000. Yeah. And you find yourself doing all this, trying to get the plane to get level, whereas if I was just based on that, I'd just... Let it go. I'd let it go, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when I was doing my instrument stuff, I was like, you know what, I don't care if that's off. That's the one I'm off, that's on or off, I'm going to look at that one, because that's the one the instructor's looking at the side of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another industrial estate there. Yeah, so we've got uh, Sheffield sort of up there. That's all Sheffield, yeah, that's Sheffield. Yeah. And it's getting a bit bumpy now, we're getting over the hills. Yeah, it usually, usually gets a bit, uh, a bit windy when you start going Derbyshire way over there. It does, the it does, and we can't go too far that way because then we've got that, that big red line there, that's Manchester airspace. And that yeah. starts, I mean, we'll be alright because. Um, it's above us, but if I have to climb, then I'll be Run straight into, into it, so yeah, yeah I, um, I'm going to sort of play it safe, um, and we'll turn quite a bit before it. We have to be below 3,500, but the ground's at 1,300, so we have to be sort of sandwiched somewhere between 1,800 and 3,500 feet, do you see what I mean? Yeah. When I'm, you know, when I, um, I say to you about how the airspace gets really tight, You've got that airspace coming down, the ground's coming up, and we have to be a certain distance from the ground, minute. and you're sort of yeah. getting your sort of face down to a really low level. Thank you for helping me, Jim. Yeah. Well, the, the cloud's actually lifting up now. Look, it's 23. It seems to now, be, yeah. About so a thousand feet above um, Lady Bower Reservoir, ground level now, so they're more than high enough. It's breaking up as well, this little lower level seems to be breaking up a little bit. It is over here, it seems to be a little bit more wispy, doesn't it? It does. Just have to hope we don't see any fast jets doing training today. We'll be fine, there's no, that's not marked, they mark it on here when they're doing Do that, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Where we've climbed today, we should be unless they're not. Also, we can see people on here anyway. We'll see all the traffic on the um, radar. Oh, with so that. with this thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Surprisingly quiet, actually. I've not seen anything. Fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scared them all away. <laughs> And you can see there's a little bit of a lake sort of popping up between yeah, two hills in front of us. That. that is the bottom of Lady Bower Reservoir. Uh -huh. Reservoir. That's Habersage just down here. 
be sort of. Yeah, yeah. That's how the sitch. The outdoor light. Yeah, yeah it's big ridge down here. Look at that. Yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? With a landslip. Yeah. Well, it'd be the ice age actually, wouldn't it, with it landing? <laughs> yeah. Grinded it all out. Quite possibly. Yeah, there's Lady Bower just sort of coming into view. Is that Castleton? That is uh, Bradwell. Right. Goes up to Chapel and Lefrith, sort of, up that yeah. way, eventually. I don't know, I'm just reading out time names here. <laughs> Tell me if you know any of them. But yeah, Bradwell's on the left here. We've just gone past how said you've got Lady Bower sort of coming in. You can see the bridge across yeah. Lady Bower? Yeah. Um, and then we'll sort of head north, up over Derwent Reservoir, and then come back to Penis Town and across the north of Sheffield. So there we go, so that's Lady Bower just down here on the right, and that's Derwent's just beyond it. Yeah, Derwent feeds into Lady it Bower. Does. Yeah, so we're going to whiffline up it from the south to north. I'm going to sort of head to the left of it, just so that you can get your pictures and stuff. Wish you'd have told me that before. That's <laughs> okay. I missed a bit with the pontoons. Because <laughs> that's a back of his nice island. Oh, that's okay. I've another go on the way back if you're going back that uh, way. We weren't going to. No, that's fine. Yeah. You just do your whatever you need to do. Okay. Miss or miss. Ah. So yeah, that's Derwent down there. You see the two castle things on the sides of it? Yeah. The castellation. Yeah. So when they were doing the dam busters, then they'd be coming this they, way? They, uh, yeah, they came this way. This so way. They, they turned in at the top and came down. Can yeah. you imagine flying to Lancaster and weaving through that valley like that? I mean, Jesus Christ. It's, it's hard enough at this height, you know, just to keep it going. It'd be your cheeks. Yeah, I think so. At that speed as well. It's really tight, it's lots of bends, and I think the ones in Germany, they weren't quite as bendy as these. And well, don't forget, they had to lower the plane yeah. until the two searchlights met. Yes. That was their optimum. Yeah, fly along the surface sort yeah. of thing, yeah. That, that was their optimum level, wasn't it? It was. Because this is the ones where there's three, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. So we've got Carsington. Derwent now, yes, Car uh, Lady Bower, Derwent. Howden, is it? Is it Howden at the top? Yeah. That's the little one at the top behind those, the next dam up, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful from up here though, isn't it? It's beautiful from up here though. Yeah. Even better on a, sun, on a nice sunny day. On a sunny day, it's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, when you look down there, uh, one o'clock. Yeah. See the tributary that yes. actually feeds into it is nothing. Yeah. And it's all coming from these hills, isn't it? That's right. So, yeah. I'm sort of heading for those windmills that's on the, on the nose. Yeah, yeah. Because the ground gets really flat over there. I could cut across here and be fine, but I see the ground's a bit high, so I'd rather go through the flatter route. Just to take us back towards Sheffield. What's that tower in front of one o'clock? Uh, that is, um, what's it called, the big TV tower at Huddersfield, um, Emily Moore is it? Oh right, yeah. Emily Moore TV transmitter, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Huddersfield up there. Huddersfield. Huddersfield, yeah. So, airspace is we're fine for, because that's above three and a half. So we're going to head over to Penis Town, and then over Barnsley, back at the Sheffield. What's this other reservoir then? Uh, Stocksbridge. Another one down there. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know what that one is down there, that's near Chapel Town. Sorry, it's not quite as sunny, but I can't do much about the weather. No. <laughs> Nice if you parted your wallet from time to time. I'll do that again. No <laughs> worries. <laughs> you wouldn't think that the, this moorland, that you don't like patchworks or stuff, would you? No. It's weird. I wonder what it is. Is it where they've been like farming the heather or something? Or they like. I don't know. Unless it's. Unless they're still actually digging peat oh, in certain yeah. places. I bet, yeah. Because a lot of the. Dorbysh villages still burn peat. Yeah, okay. Well, 
make sense from that. Because it's it's not just a blob here and there, it's, it's quite a specific shape it is. somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, they're just square, aren't they? And they've got yeah. like square lines. Alston Radio, hello again, Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, Gamson Radio, pass your message. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, PA28, we are 10 miles to the southwest, 2,000 feet request joining and landing information. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, Roger, runway 03, left hand circuit, the QFE1008, the circuit is currently active. 03, left hand circuit, QFE1008, and we'll keep an eye on the traffic, Golf in Bravo. So presumably when he said it's active, it's a particular runway that's active. Golf, yeah. Yeah, he said the circuit's active, which means there's aircraft. Golf, uh, India, Roger, no report of traffic, we'll take your back track. I remember when we saw the planes coming around the circuit, what he's saying is there's traffic in the circuit, so... Golf, Papa India, Roger. You can see the airfield there, presumably. Yeah, yeah, I can see the one, two, three, four, five, six aircraft. Yeah, that's it. The runway comes across and we're landing on this runway, so we can go for it. Go for Lima Bravo in the over descending to circuit height. Go for Lima Bravo, roger. Go for Lima Bravo, final zero three to land, contact one ahead. Go for Lima Bravo, roger, surface wind light and variable. Here is airborne, look. No, it just wafted off to the right of it, hasn't it? It has, yeah. As we came over the end of the runway, this bird decided to appear out of nowhere. Just see how close it came. Oh, bird. That was close. Did you see that? I did. Go, uh, Charlie Romero. We're visual with uh, my cost. Now, I've watched this clip back a lot since it happened, and I genuinely don't think I had any alternative other than just to continue and land. If it had hit me, it would have been really bad news at this height, and there was simply nothing I could have done to avoid it. Even if I had have seen it in advance, a go-around would have taken me straight into the path of the bird, and I had no other option to take avoiding action so close to the ground. I'd love to hear your thoughts, though, on what you would have done in that situation, if you wouldn't mind dropping them in the comments down below. Oh, I wonder when you're just going to slap on or not. No, there's no, there's no sense, no, no, no. you know, we... Do a Ryanair land. <laughs> no, there's no point, because they'll all be going that way anyway, we just cause chaos if we didn't. Might as well do it nice and gently, there's the VOR beacon by the way, just, um... Oh, just to the right, that big, like, trampoline thing there, look. All the little ball things on the top. Oh, right, yeah. Golfing around there, Go for the Bravo, Roger. Back off. All these can pop off. It's just the lean. There we go, and that must off. There we go then, back at Gamston. How was that? Alright. You enjoy it? Might have touched more of that. I don't know about that. I'll have to ask my financial director <laughs> um, <laughs> if we can do more flying. And by the way, talking of which, if you're financial director, does that mean you're paid for today? Uh, in a roundabout way. You mean you mean I'm paying for it and you're just ticking the box to say I can do it? Yeah. Oh, okay, fair That's enough. About right. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Anyway, um, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, take care and I'll well, see you on the next one. Bye for now.